Hi guys, my name is Isaac and welcome to One Time Builds. In this video I'm going to show you how I use curve bending on plywood to upcycle an old IKEA desk lamp. Um, I will be using different techniques such as uh, 3D printing and uh, curve bending and I will walk you through the process. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and uh, yeah, let's uh, get on with it. First thing that I'm going to be doing is explaining what curve bending actually is. I watched some videos on YouTube when I saw some people um, using this technique to bend plywood to make amazing shapes and I was immediately uh, drawn to it. So curve bending is a fairly straightforward technique in which um, you basically cut grooves on one side of the plywood or the piece of wood that you want to um, bend, uh, even though I use it only on plywood. And then these grooves actually don't have to cut all the way through the wood, so they will have to cut at about 90, uh, 85 to 90 percent of the uh, thickness of the wood. And what you're doing effectively is you're reducing the uh, length of the inside of the bending, which is what allows you to actually bend the wood. Uh, the first step is uh, fairly straightforward, you're just going to be drawing and cutting a bunch of lines in the side of the wood and this should allow you to uh, bend uh, the plywood to the dimension or to the shape that you want. In order to uh, ensure that the wood bends in the right shape, I'm uh, simply printing a pattern of a circle, um, gluing it to a piece of plywood, and I will be using this as a template for the actual bending. Putting the whole thing together was rather tricky since I had to ensure that the wood would stay uh, uh, in shape so I ended up using a rope with a piece of uh, wood as a crank uh, uh, to tighten everything up and then I used a little strip of plywood uh, with clamps to ensure that the connecting points of the, uh, of the closing of the circle would actually uh, stay in place. And then I lay dry for a whole 24 hours. finish up the lampshade I did um, quite a lot of sanding to make sure everything was smooth as possible. Then I drew some holes uh, for the light to uh, uh, go out and then I finally finished uh, the surface with uh, some uh, oil. Since the inside was quite ugly due to the glue and the cutting of the grooves, I decided to add a piece of cloth and glue it inside so that it will also help diffuse the light. And after that, the only step left was to finish up the transitions between the cloth and the wood and then put the whole thing together.
Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is the place where the lamp is going to leave. I hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I will sure be using curve bending more often in the future. And well, I'll see you next time. Cheers. Milo, you have anything to say? You have anything to say? Do you like the lamp? Do you like the lamp? Yeah, you like the lamp very much. Yes, you like the lamp. Very good boy. Good boy, Chico.